मैंने समंदर से सीखा है जीने का सलीका चुपचाप से बहना और अपनी मौज में रहना ऐसा नहीं है कि मुझ में कोई ऐब नहीं है पर सच कहता हूँ मुझ में कोई फरेब नहीं है सो खयाली कराची इज अ प्रोजेक्ट दैट मी एंड अनीता स्टार्टेड अराउंड टू इयर्स अगो इन दिस रेजिडेंसी व्हाट वी डिड वाज वी कोलैबोरेटेड विद द नॉन ह्यूमन बीइंग्स बाय आवर इमेजिनेशन एंड वंडर इटसेल्फ इज सच एन इनटेंजिबल सब्जेक्ट व्हाट वी ट्राई टू डू इज क्रिएट दिस टूल किट इफ यू कैन सी दैट लिटिल बॉक्स एंड द आईडिया बिहाइंड इट इज वेरी सिंपल इट्स ट्राइंग टू कैप्चर दैट फीलिंग ऑफ wonder using wonder as a framework to see things around us when there was no footfall on the beach uh, section 144 was imposed and you couldn't go there um, and it was full of millions and millions of these tiny bubbler crabs we want like a very intimate um, concept of imagining your kid can play with the the soil and it is just fine just go home and wash your hands and they'll be fine we can bring back all these non humans if we just create welcoming spaces in our city for them to that whether you might see an opportunity to install some wonder toolkits oh, around yeah, absolutely. your forest absolutely absolutely i think that's what the city needs and that's what all our guest speakers have been talking about how to reimagine revisit new ways to uh, to look at the city with adults we tend to lose the power to wonder you know we barely have time to live our everyday life and what you guys will try and do is to bring it back you know to our everyday consciousness hello and welcome to the artistic research residency podcast in this series we explore innovative projects developed during the residency replay reveries of an urban dreamland The resident researchers designed novel interfaces for human and non-human interactions in the urban environment of Karachi. This artistic research residency is a collaboration between the Institute of Business Management and Umbrellium supported by the British Council. They believe that Karachi can be reimagined and they call the project Khayali Karachi. So what has been inspiration behind their works let's have a look and we'll talk to them please give a big round of applause to Anita and Shabir to join us and share their thoughts about their future visions for Karachi um so i'm going to try my best but this project is never meant to be displayed or explained or shown on like tables and stuff it's in our we have a nice little corner so after we're done talking maybe you guys if you feel like it you can come and sit with us and just sit in our corner for a bit but i'm going to try my best so khayali karachi is a project that me and anita started around 2 years ago and the idea behind it is very simple it's trying to capture that feeling of wonder that jo magical the feeling nahi hoti when you see something and your brain kind of goes in all these different directions and you see and you see it differently and something like a leaf can be rainfall that's green for some reason because you're on an alien planet or something and it was this kind of play a playful idea that we carried forward and we worked on it for a while and then when finally we got this opportunity through this residency what we tried to do is create this uh, toolkit if you can see that little box in front of us and the process of this toolkit the uh, aims of this toolkit was to create something that can help people or guide people towards this idea of wonder and using wonder as a framework to see things around us to see uh, realities to see environments to see humans and non-humans and the basic structure of the toolkit is that we have these three cards this one is sensitization imagination and then expression so the toolkit was centered around sea view in karachi and if you've been to sea view it's this really interesting space where jahan pe bahut sare log alag alag milte hain and there's always activity happening and there's always people and there's always something happening so the idea was first you sensitize yourself to that space so when you're sensitive when your uh senses are open to things when you're taking in more input then you can suddenly start to see all these things that you never bothered to see then 
once you're sensitized, then you can move on to imagination. And once you're imagining, now everything that you saw is also other things that you wanted to see, or maybe you didn't want to see, but you see them anyways. And finally, you have expression. So all of this process that you went through, all of this imagination you went through, we, and then you express yourself, whether you write it out, you draw it out, and something happens, and something magical happens, and something beautiful forms out of that. And we did a multiple tests out of these, and we got like some really beautiful work that our participants, by the way, thank you to the participants who showed up, because without them, though, we couldn't have done anything. We got these little cute little ajeevaji meaty meaty stories about these little crabs these little bubbles that Anita was blowing turned into crystal spheres and we had so much like wonder happen it was just so delightful to see and out of all of that then all of the work that our participants did we created some digital artwork out of them and now we have all of that so thank you Anita do you want to add something yeah Hi, um, just like, uh, so khayal in khayali Karachi is an Urdu word which is used for, you know, khayal karo, khayal se raho, um, things which mean to care for, be cautious, um, imagine, right, daydreaming. And all of these combined together are what's inside khayali Karachi. We want like a very intimate um, concept of imagining and so in this residency what we did was um, we collaborated with the non-human beings by our imagination and wonder itself is such an intangible subject right um, all of us are imagining something in our heads and if given the permission which we ourselves are supposed to give to be silly to wonder we can um, we always in fact Shabir and I we noticed that in our uh, iterations of workshops when the participants were automatically uh, engaging with non-human beings um, and yeah I wanted to read like a small share which is nahi pata but it says bed jata hu mitti pe aksar kyunki mujhe apni aukat achhi lagti hai maine samandar se seekha hai jeene ka salika chup chaap se behna और अपनी मौज में रहना ऐसा नहीं है कि मुझ में कोई ऐब नहीं है पर सच कहता हूं मुझ में कोई फरेब नहीं है um, just one more thing one of the participants also mentioned in fact many of them that uh, the sea connects us to the entire world right and with all things happening the sea um, we when we are at the sea view we are at the beach we get aligned the, our energies get aligned with the sea we walk in the same pace we are doing things very um, in sync and that is something we took advantage of in our toolkit as well um, the prompts as well so if whenever you have time you should we're in that right corner you should come by and see us and the works that we wow produce. thank you Anita thank you with this note I know I don't have any difference that's a beautiful way of putting it so to address this there have been people who have been reimagining Karachi for a while and they've been doing their own efforts and beautiful initiatives so I would like you to give a big round of applause to, to, to those beautiful souls. Please uh, welcome Myra Uma for, for joining us on this uh, platform talking about reimagining Karachi, Khali Karachi. A very dear person who has been struggling to get an urban forest in Karachi. Please welcome Shehzad Qureshi. So these people have been trying to reimagine Karachi in their own ways and uh, how they would respond to Khayali Karachi because they have their own Khayal of Karachi. So let's hear from Myra. Thank you for joining us. Shukriya Taki. Khayali Karachi se mujhe yeh baat yaad aati hai ki hum log aksar Khayali Pulao bana rahe hote hain. घर बैठे कि काश आ, कराची में ऐसा होता या ऐसा हो सकता वीव बिन टॉकिंग अबाउट वेल आई जस्ट वॉन्ट मैंशन जिस तरह हम नेचर को बस एक जगह पर देखना चाहते हैं वेर एज हमारे हर तरफ कुदरती माहौल है अगर हम उसको इजाज़त दें फ्लरिश करने का मिसाल के तौर पर 
کراچی زو میں ایک ہمالین براؤن بیئر بند ہے جسکو کو تک ہی نے بھی دیکھا ہوا ہے اور میں آپ سب کو بھی دعوت دیتی ہوں کہ پلیز جا کے اس بھالو سے ملے اس کا نام رانو ہے وہ شی ڈز ناٹ بلونگ ان کراچی شی شوڈ بی سینڈ ٹو اے بیئر سینچری خیر وہ تو لمبی کہانی ہے بٹ دا فیکٹ کہ کچھ لوگ اس شہر میں ہیں ہو آر ایڈمنٹ آن ہولڈنگ ہر ہاسٹیج ان دس سٹی بٹ وائی آرٹ دے جسٹ ایز ایڈمنٹ ایز ان ہولڈنگ آن ٹو لائک اے مرین اسنیل ایٹ سی ویو بیچ اور لائک اے ٹری آن اے راؤنڈ اباؤٹ لوگ شور نہیں مچاتے ہمارے ایک پڑوسی ہیں تو یہاں کوئی بات کر رہا تھا کہ کلہاڑی کی آواز جو ہوتی ہے جو جب وہ درخت پہ لگتی ہے تو کتنی تکلیف ہوتی ہے اور وہ بند کمرے میں بند کھڑکی کے تھرو بھی سڑک کے پار نظر آ رہی ہوتی ہے تو خیر ہم لوگ درخت تو بہت بے دردی سے کاٹتے ہیں تو میں نے جا کے پوچھا کہ کیوں کاٹ رہے ہیں وہ کوئی تیس چالیس سال پرانا درخت ہوگا تو مجھے ان صاحب کے ملازم نے کہا کہ جی آپ کو معلوم ہے کہ صاحب کی کتنی مہنگی مہنگی گاڑیاں کھڑی ہیں اگر یہ گر تو پھر میں نے کہا ہاں ٹھیک ہے پھر تو پھر تو صحیح ہے آپ کاٹ دیں آئی مین آئی آئی ایم ہیلپ لیس این یو نو اسٹاپنگ ٹریز بینگ کٹ بٹ خیر تو ہم خیالی پلاؤ بناتے رہتے ہیں وی آل ووڈ لائک ٹو سی اے وائلڈر کراچی اینڈ آئی تھنک کراچی میں جتنے بھی ایگزسٹنگ پارکس ہیں کڈ ڈیفینیٹلی بی میڈ اے لل بیڈ وائلڈر وی ہیو دس تھنگ وچ از کالڈ این ایکولوجیکل ٹائڈینس ڈس آڈر کہ کوئی پتے گرتے ہیں صرف شہزاد کا پارک ہے جہاں پہ کچھ بہت سارے آپ کو پتے گرے ہوئے نظر آئیں گے باہر ملکوں میں تو دیر از اے موومنٹ کال لائک لیو دا لیوس آج بھی میں نے کسی کو دیکھا میں ایک کسی کے جنازے پہ گئی بھی تھی تو آئی واز اراؤنڈ دا کارنر فرام دیئر ہاؤس اور میں نے دیکھا ایک صاحب جھاڑو لگا رہے تھے کیاری میں پرابلی ریکنگ ہز بیک بینڈنگ اوور تو میں نے ان سے کوئی چار دفعہ پوچھا کہ یہ جو آپ پتے جمع کر رہے ہیں اس کی کیا آپ کھاد بنائیں گے تو وہ کوئی ریسپانس ہی نہیں دے رہے تھے آئی واز جسٹ ٹرائنگ ٹو ہیو اے کانورسیشن یو نو پاسنگ ٹائم پھر پھر انہوں نے کہا میں اس گھر میں کام کرتا ہوں تو میں نے کہا کہ اچھا آپ کو کیا آواز آ رہی ہے میری ہی کلیئرلی ڈین وانٹ ٹو انگیج ود می بیکاز ہیئر از دس پرسن سینگ ویل یو نو مے بی ایف یو لیف دا لیوز وی ووڈ ہیو اے ہیلدیئر سوائل اینڈ اٹس اے ون ون سچویشن فار فار دا نان ہیومنس اینڈ فار دا ہیومنس ایز ویل اینی ویز کافی بنیادی چیزیں جو ہمیں سمجھ میں نہیں آتی ہیں بٹ آپ نے کوئی سوال پوچھا تھا سوال میرا یہی تھا نہیں یہی تھا بالکل خیالی پلاؤ ایک اچھا آئیڈیا اینڈ دین خیالی پلاؤ ہیز بن شہزاد ہیز بن میکنگ خیالی پلاؤز ایز ویل بٹ ہیو دے گون بی آن خیالی پلاؤ اور دیر دیر آئی ڈونٹ نو وائی ایم ہیئر بٹ امنگ دیز پیپل But first, thank you very much for giving me the name of that disorder. I have been hunting for that damn <laughs> ecological uh, tidiness, disorder. tidiness disorder. This is definitely something. So we had this um, lady in the park um, on uh, yesterday, actually, with the kid. And she just, she brings me the, the vegetable greens for compost area. But she could not figure out how to tell me that this is not, this park is not clean enough. It is... <laughs> It is just too many, too much soil around, too much dirt around, too many leaves around loitering. And I had to give her a big lecture that, you know, your kid can play with the, the soil and it is just fine. Just go home and wash your hands and they'll be fine. So this disorder is, is rampant. And Khayali Plow, what a lovely name to it. Khayali Plow to Khayali Karachi. Um, and, you know, it, I instantly recollected this, you know, we create spaces. Um, spaces for public spaces and generally on that public space you will see signs no loitering but how ironic i mean uh, this is a pl- space for public to come and actually do hopefully nothing or become silly and do things that they really enjoy take that time out and actually loiter so i want to put that big sign up now in the park that come loiter here because you need to come and really spend time in that area um and i have been thinking that you know where the city should be filled with these spaces all around uh, let's see if we can get to that by 
rewilding it as you said rewilding is is something that we need to come back to but shahzad uh, jahan aapka park hai itna umda hai ek hi park hai jahan hum jate hain baaki parkon mein to ja ke hum kofti karte hain to aapne kabhi dekha hai ki aapke park ke samne sadak ke par bhi ek aur park hai wo kaisa park hai uska naam humne rakha hua hai banjar park uh, that's just for the contrast so that when you come to the park you see on the right you see on the left and you see what it should be and what it should not be so you mentioned thank you thank you for this uh, khali palau to khali karachi aspect usman and ling have been working extensively on uh, rewilding in london and uh, they have had their own share share of experiences their its own complexities but in relation to khali karachi usman what are your thoughts Uh, I'm actually wondering uh, Shahzad whether you might see an opportunity to install some wonder toolkits oh, around yeah, your forest. Oh yeah, absolutely. That has to be part of it now. That has to be. So yeah. Now I'm really curious about um I think what I found really interesting about your work is bring this act of wonder back which you know we have been talking a lot about serious conversation about how to tackle the climate crisis and you know with adults we tend to lose the power to wonder you know we barely have time to live our everyday life and what you guys will try and do is to bring it back you know to our everyday consciousness so i think maybe it would be great to l- learn more about your experience working with people you know how do they interact with the wonder toolkit and what are the interesting experience you got from them hi yeah so Actually the response we got in the very beginning was so much more than we hoped for because the first time we put out an open call for that hey we're trying to develop this wonder toolkit and if anybody would like to um show up we got over 20 people to sign up in within 3 days 4 days which was way more than we expected we expected 5 6 we thought we had struggle ke because it's a random thing ke oh aaj aap bhi chalte hain we have designed a whole project around it and nobody shows up but 20 sign ups was a lot and of course all, not all 20 people showed up but it's still exciting for us that so many people just by the name and just by the very few things we told them about it were interested enough to take time out of their day to come with us to try and explore something new and we got a, a very interesting bunch of people some of them were healthcare professionals some were artists some were business people some were like different kinds of people and everybody knows how to wonder there wasn't a single person who couldn't do it some people need more time to give themselves permission and some people are more naturally able to do it very quickly but everyone can do it there's not a single person who can't and we asked people some people faced language barriers some people faced different types of um mobility barriers different things but ultimately everybody got there everybody wondered and everybody felt that gratifying connection with their environment with the beach with the sea with the animals that live around us with even people who sold them things people who the horses dressed up the way they were dressed up everybody felt something and it was really fun and really good for us to see it it's not difficult it's very possible you just need that little bit of push so thank you thank you shabbi that was a great note to capture your project the need to wonder i think that's what the city needs and that's what all our guest speakers have been talking about how to reimagine revisit new ways to Uh, to look at the city and how we can connect relationships between human and non-human uh, species uh, so myra just to wrap it up you have another wonder lying in your head with your friend munira how these parks could be connected could you please share with the audience and if they would be interested in that idea um yes taki uh, you just said uh, the ne- need to wonder but there's also the need to wonder uh so i've been having these discussions with my friend munira who's sitting right here ke uh agar hum shaharon mein trails ki baat kare to islamabad mein kuch umda si trails hain jahan roz ja ke uh, tehl sakte hain ya achhi si hiking kar le ja ke how come karachi doesn't have any trails uh, how come we don't have a mali river trail 
uh, like kilometers long stretch and then people living along the ri uh, river can go and you know spend time in nature nearby or how come we don't have a Leari river trail or like a coastal trail um, how come we don't preserve uh, or restore those good sand dunes bachi hui hain sea view ke sahil ke kareeb and you might have seen during covid when there was no footfall on the beach uh, section 144 was imposed and you couldn't go there well i did go um, and it was full of millions and millions of these tiny bubbler crabs jo itne cute se hote hain but because hum log humans wahan pe nahi unko trample kar rahe the so uh, they were flourishing mere khayal se sea view pe wo jo dune buggies hain unko ban hona chahiye wo sadak ke dusre paar chala le aur sahil ko ek pursukoon mahol mein chhod de dusra shehar mein jitne bhi roundabouts hain unme se concrete ko tod ke hata dena chahiye aur koi concrete ki decoration hai uske jagah is kisam ka darakh lagana chahiye local native and the parks in our cities uh there are we'll see we already have some parks agar aap jahaz se karachi shehar ko dekhe to kuch bhi green nazar nahi aata hai bilkul ek concrete jungle hai to um kuch parks kareeb kareeb bhi hain to maybe we could make uh, like my friend munira had mentioned we could connect some of the parks and make like this long meandering trail so if one day you feel like hiking uh like 10 kilometers or you know aur 10 kilometer aapko bas ja ke chalna hai aakhir margala phir bhi to ye karte hain you we should be able to do that and especially in some parts of the city old clifton gutter bagicha mein bana sakte hain baag ibn qasim to thoda sa hame training leni hogi ke ye apne disorder ko kya kehte hain ye aur let let trees grow by themselves uh, you know all the good green practices um and yeah you can you can within a park make this lovely meandering trail surrounded by grasses agar aap hum har itwar ko jaate hain phase 8 defense mein sahil ke paas basically ek us din koi kisi ne alfaz istemal kiya kaun tha mujhe yaad nahi aa raha of benign neglect ji lahore mein ek sahab ne mujhe mention kiya tha कि किसी पार्क का वो कोना जहाँ पे वो सांप की नज़र ना गई भी हो तो इट्स वाइल्ड एंड एंड यू नो यू वांट टू गो एंड स्पेंड सम टाइम देयर और उधर ही हनी बीज और मुख्तलिफ मखलूक जो आरिफ साहब कह रहे थे अब तितलियाँ नहीं नज़र आती और स्क्रल्स नहीं नज़र आती मेंढक नहीं नज़र आते हमारे घरों में या वो लीचेज सो वी कैन ब्रिंग बैक ऑल दीज नॉन ह्यूमन्स if we just create welcoming spaces in our city for them wow thank you very much myra what a wonderful note to to wrap things up before we wrap, up, wrap things up i'm sorry we could not take questions because uh, we because of the time duration but we'll take one last comment by a very dear friend who is from sawat and who has been a gardener he's uh, he teaches he's now in karachi but he has some beautiful memories of some messages uh, shared by his grandfather how uh, things have been uh, in sawat so can we please give mic to uh, dr fayaz to have his final thoughts on how things have been because sawat has seen a really bad situation uh, in the last few years because the flooding so let's hear from him and we'll wrap it up oh, we belong to a uh, uh, gurjal family aur uh, zimedari karte hain hum log तो यही उसके साथ मैंने अपने दादा की चंद बातें शेयर की जब वो मतलब वो के वन ही यूज टू डिस्ट्रीब्यूट जो तुखम में बीज डालते थे ज़मीन में तो वो करता था कहता था कि बिस्मिल्लाह के बाद ही की जो पहला जो है ये उस इंसेक्ट के लिए डाल रहा हो जो ज़मीन के अंदर है दूसरा जब वो डालता है तो वो कहता था कि ये उन परिंदों के लिए जो ऊपर से आएंगे तीसरा जब वो डालता था तो कहता था कि रास्ते से जो जानवर या इंसान गुजरेगा तो उसका है चौथा जब वो डालता है तो क्या कि ये हमारा है 
तो ये उन लोगों का एग्रीकल्चर का वो था पुराने जमाने में जो लोग थे वो जिधर भी थे मतलब तो उन लोगों का ये ख्याल था वी आर रियली ग्रेटफुल टू ऑल ऑफ यू फॉर बींग हेयर एंड जॉइनिंग एस एंड अपॉलोजीज अगेन फॉर दिस डिले डिनर अवेट्स यू आई वुड लाइक टू थैंक एगालीटेरियन सोसाइटी फॉर हेल्पिंग एस आउट इन पुटिंग इट टूगेदर एंड ऑल्सो इमान एंड मिस्टर जुबैर फॉर फॉर टेकिंग केयर ऑफ थिंग्स एंड आर वंडरफुल रेजिडेंट आर्टिस्ट एंड एट द सेम टाइम गेस्ट स्पीकर एंड लास्ट बट नॉट द लीज उस्मान एंड लिंक फॉर जॉइनिंग अस ऑल the way from london thank you very much and please have a nice dinner and a nice night thank you very much and thank you to taki for stewarding the residency program and putting together this event